Hello Cancers, how are you doing? Welcome to Silvi Tarot. Let's see what's going on with you in love at this time. What are the messages? What you need to know, hear, and feel at this time. What is happening with Cancers? Cancers, if you are resonating with this, of course, hit the like button and subscribe. What's happening with my beautiful Cancerians? Oh, it's really up in the air, isn't it? So some of you are trying to get a better understanding of a connection here. So you could be in a place where a lot of things are up in the air at this time and you're really trying to ground yourself. You're really trying to like get a hold of your emotions, get a hold of everything that's happening, especially with this energy, knowing that, of course, you're a cardinal sign. So... This retrograde could be somewhat, you know, putting you into a place of reevaluating things, right? But I feel like there's something specifically, and again, it could be work, love, um, a relationship with a friend or family. And it just comes off as if there's really no clear indication. I hear you talking. I see you. You're there, but you're not really telling me anything. You're not really, mm -mm, you're not really showing me anything. And I feel like for some of you, it's like this, this really got you thinking, this got you feeling, this got you exploring. Because again, at some point here, this felt like a dream come true. Felt like, oh my God, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about this person moving to my area i'm so excited to connect with this person again i got what i wanted what you know when i felt it it felt great but is it worth the wait here should i wait on this should i give this more time should i invest in this should i keep on feeling this should i even believe in this here I feel like literally that's literally your energy right now. And I feel like for some of you during the waiting phase, I really don't feel like cancers are angry. I, I don't feel that way. Like I don't feel like you're bitter or anything like that. But I do feel like your patience is running out with the situation. Um, and again, there could have been a energy of you lashing out, telling someone how you feel, right? Telling someone, hey, stop wasting my time, right? One of the things I'm really getting, honestly, for those that are just not resonating with this anger energy, because I don't really feel like my cancers are angry. I don't feel that way. But what I do feel is this sense of, I could get angry here. You know, I could, I could lash out here. I could send that long text message. I could get mad at the fact that things are not going my way. I could, but I won't. I won't. So there's something here that's holding you back that's really putting you in a place where you're like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get me there. You're not gonna push me there. So there's thoughts about it, right? I should confront, I should bring something up, I should talk to someone, but I don't feel like you're gonna do it, okay? I don't feel like you're going to do it. I don't feel like that's really part of your plan it's a thought okay well can't you know who's a cancer mike tyson's a cancer what did he say once and again this is not word for word but i remember him saying just because i'm a cancer doesn't mean i'm soft it doesn't mean i'm sensitive but that doesn't mean i'm soft whatever that meant okay <laughs> i'm soft but it doesn't mean i'm you know, what, what I was going to say. Doesn't mean I'm afraid, okay? We'll just keep it rated PG here, all right? Um, but I do feel like there is something here that's, you know, bothering you to some degree. But you're waiting. You're still waiting here. You're still waiting. You're sitting back and you're saying, okay, well, I hope the, you know, I hope the situation will change. I hope things will get better. I hope this person will understand that this is a dream come true, that this is a fulfilling energy, that you should be happy here. Or maybe it's you, Cancer, that needs to understand that you should just be happy at this time. That you should just be happy here, okay? Clarify this waiting energy. Let me get a little bit more on that. 
Clarify this waiting energy for my cancers, please. What is... Oh! I have to go get that. We have overthinking, but what flew out was dating. So some of you here, this could be like a love situation or something tied around. If I get up, it's going to be too much. But it's, it's dating, all right, what came out. But there's something about you overthinking a dating situation here. Um, someone here could be keeping secrets from you. Um... And others of you, it's like while I'm overthinking, I'm driving, while I'm waiting, I'm overthinking and, and possibly just not sure of what the outcome here. What's the outcome? I do feel like also in this waiting energy here, you start to really, you start to really prioritize time. Like there's something about time here, like... I want to do something else with my time. It's like this energy of like, I really don't want to sit around thinking about this all day. It's not what I want to do. It's not. Show me what cancer may be waiting for. What are we waiting for here? Someone here to come in as authentic here. You're waiting for someone to be honest. Like you showed me one thing, but then you're acting a different way here, okay? You feel like someone here is also unfazed or you feel like they don't care, right? A lot of you have questioned whether I should let this whole thing go or I should just deal with it. Some of you are waiting for a payment, waiting for someone to come in and show you that, please prove to me that you're not who I think you are, just please. Show me that I could trust you. Show me that I could build with you. Show me that this is really a dream come true. So there is a lot of like, I don't, it's not expectation, but I, I feel like you're at a point where you're saying, I know deep down inside you're a good person. I know that you could do better. Do better then is what I'm getting. How does this person feel about cancer? You feel like this person's not being authentic. And I feel like for some of you, like, you thought about calling them out on it, but you're like, oh, I don't know about that. All right. So let's take a look at how this person feels about you, Cancer. Ooh, let's get another shuffle in. Show me how this person feels about my beautiful Cancers. There we go. How does this person feel about Cancer, please? Ooh, what are you doing here? This person could be guarded. What are you doing in there? Could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or, or Libra energy. So this person's going back and forth with their emotions. They're going back and forth with expressing themselves here. Okay? I do feel like this person feels like you're a little bit more advanced emotionally, spiritually. This person could be very indecisive. Okay? Just this energy here. Again very indecisive like i'm trying to figure out what i want i'm trying to figure out if i want to commit i'm trying to figure out if when i make a decision if it's going to be fair to me is what i'm hearing so this person wants to make sure that they're making a decision and it's also fair to them as well this person could be dealing with a lot of like family issues as well or dealing with a lot of like justice or court situations here What is this person's intentions towards cancer? I feel like that's important, right? To know someone's intentions. Like, what is their true intentions? Mm. Yeah, so this person's intentions, they really don't want any problems, honestly. They don't. They don't want any smoke. They don't want any issues. They don't. What this person's doing, okay, I feel like this person's genuine. I feel like this person wants to come out of conflict. I feel like this person wants to learn how to get away from negative thinking, limited thinking. This person wants to stay away from what they knew in the past, okay? So I do feel like this is someone here that wants to grow. They want to get out of their own way. Their intentions is to learn. Like I'm actually trying to learn. Like I'm trying to do better is what I'm getting here. And I feel like you're very patient with this person, but for some of you, maybe maybe it's not clear that this person hasn't met someone like you or hasn't met someone that actually is this patient with them. They're so used to people just leaving, but 
or actually used to people leaving and coming back and leaving and it's like they're used to people that are constantly like fueling the drama and for some of you here this person feels like you're not about drama and that's very alarming it's like wow someone that's actually interested in me and this person doesn't like to argue they don't like to go back and forth whoa i have to learn how to get on this person's time this person's you know um their momentum anything else for cancers here and we'll get a message from spirit working together coming together here communicating so i do feel like there is an energy of better styles of communication here okay clarify that up in the air it keeps staring at me yeah so it's that unknown energy some of you could be connecting with the pisces cancer or scorpio energy things are up in the air but i feel like we learn how to talk we learn how to connect we learn how to mm. oh god we learn how to make each other feel good cancers some of you it's like someone is going to learn how to become softer with you more gentle with you i know it's like you've been soft with them you've been a bit gentle with them but it's like this person's going to learn how to become more gentle softer what is that I feel like this person's going to feel, and again, some of you could be intimate with this person, but this person starts to feel something deeper. They start to listen to their intuition. They start to put drama aside and they start to put that lack of, or are they putting hurt away or lack of belief away? As if this person begins to feel safe. And we have the sun. So there's a lot of growth here. So there's a better outcome here. And it's going to be on a sunny day. I can tell you that. Things get better. We have water. We have sun. Some of you could be connecting with a Leo and Aries or a Sagittarius or a Pisces. I mean, we have every sign here, honestly. Virgo as well. But there's something about... Let me just show you who I really am. And I feel like you're going to get a better understanding of yourself and you're gonna, going to get a better understanding of the situation. And I feel like it's going to allow you to move forward here. I just get this like, oh, moment. Like, oh, finally. Finally, we could talk about it. Finally, we could put that behind us. Whew. Finally, I don't have to... I, finally, I don't have to bring out that... That cancer energy, loving, but finally, you know, things are resolved here. And I feel like your patience will pay off, cancer. And you look back and you're like, oh, thank God I didn't overreact over there. <laughs> Cancer's message, please, spirit. What is, we have recovery. A lot of people got this here. Uh, this is an energy of rusting and things could be recovered. There's a high energy or high percentage of recovery. And I feel like, you know, if you're looking back at the videos that I've done, this recovery energy keeps on coming out as if like this is a time for recovery or a lot of things are being recovered or a lot of things are being adjusted, a lot of relationships, a lot of um, questions here that have been asked. And Spirit says it's up to you. Okay, so it will be up to you, essentially, if this is something here that you want to walk towards. All right, it's up to you. We have free will. Um, again, I will talk to you soon. If you are interested in a personal reading, everything is below. And we could talk specifically about your person, their intentions, how they feel, what their vibe is, and what their truth is, essentially. I love you. Have a good one.